What's up everybody, David Bustle here with Agency Armory. Got an awesome tutorial for you today of one of my favorite new features that they have just launched that I am a big fan of. So this is the brand board. So here's the deal. Whenever you're designing marketing materials for a client or for yourself, you know, you want to have a consistent look and feel for all the visual elements that are on the page. So this means using the same logo, the same colors, the same fonts everywhere. This helps to ensure that your visual identity is the same across all your different marketing materials. So on your websites and your emails, on your social media, you wanna use the same colors. So think about Coke here. You know, when you think of the brand Coke, instantly you probably think of that logo, uh, the, you know, the white logo with all the little swooshes and you've got that red can. It's easily identifiable. You wanna do the same thing for your clients or for yourself as, as a, uh, you know, just a standard operating procedure to use the same visual elements across the board. Now, doing so is kind of frustrating. You gotta remember your hex color codes for your different colors that you're using. You've gotta make sure that you've got quick access to your logos and the typefaces and so forth. And so, and to ensure that consistency, in the past, it's kind of been a pain when you're creating funnels and so forth. You've got to go and upload the colors every single time. You've got to do the same thing in the email builder and so forth. And so it's kind of a pain. And if you've got other people working on your account, you're going to have to open up an email and send them all this information for them to have quick access to it. So High Level has come up with an awesome feature called the Brand Board. And what this is, is a place that you can create the standard of your brand. So what you do is you upload your logos to it, you upload the typefaces, you upload your colors, and then you're able to use those across the platform no matter where you are. So inside the Funnel Builder, instead of you having to add those hex color codes every single time, you can actually just open up the Funnel Builder and they're right there for you. Same thing with email, same thing with the social media planner and so forth. So this allows for easy management of your design elements that ensures that consistent look and feel across the platform whenever you're creating marketing materials. So in order to do this, let's jump over to my computer and I'm gonna show you how to set this up for you or for your clients. All right, so I'm gonna go and jump over to a high level here. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna navigate over to the marketing section. So over in the left-hand side, you're gonna click on marketing. And then you're gonna have, you're probably landing on the social media planner page. So what you're gonna do is go all the way to the right over here and click on brand boards. All right, so brand boards is where it's gonna show all the brands that you've actually created. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete this one out just so we're starting from scratch so you can see the same thing. And you're gonna notice you got this little icon here. It says, create your first brand board with a splash of color. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on this blue button here, new. And I'm gonna select start from blank. I'm not a big fan of these uh, design colors here. So we're gonna just start from blank. And you're gonna notice what you can do is upload your assets here. And so this gives you that standard that you can use across the platform. So first things first, let's give this a title. So what we're gonna do is title it something that we can remember. So I'm gonna just type in your business in here and it looks like I've got caps lock on. So let me fix that. All right, and then what we're gonna do is upload our logo. So when you first look, you know, get on this screen, you're gonna see this uh, page here where you can upload two logos. And on here, I recommend lo you know, uploading two different versions of your logo. A lot of people like to do like a horizontal view or a tall view. I actually like to do a you know, color view and then also a white view. A lot of what I personally design you know, I've got dark areas in there, so I need a white logo to be able to put that there. And then sometimes I've got a white background so I could use a full color logo. So in my case, I like to do those two types of logos. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over here to this section on the left-hand side and click the little pencil icon and upload our logo. You're gonna notice this right here that you can go and select your different uh, colors here. And so as you can see, you've got two logos uploaded. You can upload two logos currently. Um, in the color section, you can upload 10 different colors. And then the typography, I believe you could have uh, two different uh, typefaces there for this. So uh, you've got your logos uploaded. Now we need to do the colors. So to do the colors, you're gonna go over to the left-hand side and click on this little uh, painting icon here. 
and we're gonna add our different colors. So you can actually delete them out by hitting the uh, trash can icons if you want, but by default, you've got two options here. So let's change these to be the colors that we want. First one we're gonna do is a blue. So what I'm gonna do is type in a hex color code for like kind of a dark blue. So 023047, and I'll click enter there. And once you click enter, it's gonna change the color to be this. So we can give it a different uh, title here. I'm gonna just call it blue. Let's do yellow for our next one here. So I'm gonna click on the color uh, box and it's gonna bring this up. And for this, I'm gonna do hashtag FFB703 for my color code and click enter. And so you'll notice that it popped in that yellow color. So I'm gonna add yellow on there and click the add button there and let's do an orange color here so we'll click on the icon now remember you have to add the uh, hashtag if you're entering specific colors here so we'll do fb8500 and then click enter now i do want to show you one thing if you want to you know uh, add just kind of like selecting a color on here uh, what you can do is hit the add button select the box and then you can actually go and select whatever color you want by kind of playing around with the sliders here as well i already know my hex color codes for this specific style but if you want to kind of play around with them you can actually do the dragging of uh, the colors and then be able to move this around to select the different ones you can also change the transparency on here as well so if you want to do that, you can do it by hand by kind of dragging things around. But if you know the colors, just pop them in there and you should be good to go. All right, so now we've got our color codes in there. So what we're gonna do is add our typefaces. So you go over to the left hand upper side here and click on typography. And here's where you can add different fonts. Up to five fonts are supported. So you can save them here and they're gonna be accessible to the font selector quickly. So what we'll do, let's select uh, let's do a Poppins, and then let's also do, uh, how about an Oswald? Okay, cool. We've got two uh, fonts selected here. And you'll notice that they pop up down here giving you a visual view of what they look like. Now, once you're done, what you can do is click Save Board. And that's going to save your board. You can set it as your default. You can actually set up multiple uh, brand boards in here if you want. So if you've got like different logos that you want to add, things like that, just create a new brand board and then you've got quick access to it. Now, when we go back, you'll notice that now you've got a brand board here that we can use across the platform. So what did we actually just do? What we're going to do is we're going to navigate over to sites and let's just click on a test page here and we'll start from scratch. And we'll just kind of give it a section here. I'm just gonna pop in some content. So let's say that we wanted to have our this to be a specific color code. Well now, instead of having to change it manually, up oh, there we go, our brand colors are right there, quick and easily accessible for us. As you can see, it makes it super simple. And let's say that we wanna add maybe like a navigation section with our logo on it. So let's do navigation menu. We wanna pop in our logo in there. So let's go and click that. And you'll see that you've got this new section uh, down here called brand boards that you can select and be able to select your logo. So now it makes it super quick and easy to access those uh, different sections across the platform there. So guys, this is an awesome feature. This is one that I absolutely love. Bravo high level, this is a really helpful tool uh, to be able to use and uh, create and have easily easy management of your brand's visual identity. All right guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next tutorial.